how's it going? Just kidding. What's up? <laughs> you know, I'm going to come with some energy. Um, yesterday, I, I put out a video on a um, tool called Monster Mash 3D. Um, you can take a 2D image. Whoops. Take a 2D image uh, and get it into your uh, game engine um, pretty easily. Um, I did want to do another video as I did a, a more realistic uh, elephant yesterday, and there was a few, few problems with um, the texturing or whatnot that we can fix up. I also wanted to show that it's just not limited to uh, lifelike assets. And then also I said that it's a pretty quick process, and then I went on to make a 50-minute video. So I'm going to try and speed run through this. Um, I'll only stop and show you the differences between uh, the previous video and, and this one. Otherwise, I'll fast forward through a lot of the uh, Blender stuff. And um, if you do need to reference the other video, I'll put a link in the description below. Or if by chance um, you haven't seen the first video and you want more detail, I go into a lot more detail in that video. Um, so we'll leave that as is and we'll try and blaze through this one as quickly as possible. So let's get at it. Um, first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a 2D image. Um, I found one of this uh, bear. I'll start over with this one. Import the image. Just like last time, we have to draw around the outline. I'm not actually going to animate anything, but I am going to put the um, pins on. Uh, only reason being is that I actually want the um, I want the GLB file, not the OBG file, because it comes with all the textures and things. And if I don't animate, then it won't let me. Uh, the other thing that's different from yesterday is we've got this guy animated. So um, what we want to do is we want to get a rig that has a bunch of animations. And there's a uh, pro uh, project pack that I got for free, um, African Animals Animal Pack. I can't remember if it was free for the month or if it's just free always. Um, but... You can go and find um, that one or another animation pack that um, has, you know, a similar animal body type. And so what I'm just going to do is I'm going into the meshes here. Um, it's not perfect because this guy's got a tail and basically we're going to have these useless bones. Uh, but essentially what we want to do is we want to export that. I've already got it exported, so I'm not going to do it again, but I'll just show you um, the options. Then in Blender, Okay, this part's a little bit um, new. Uh, I found a tutorial that was talking about this sculpt tool, and it allows us to sort of um, pose the mesh around. Um, in order to get it working the way that I like it, I just open up this menu, go to tool, and it gives us some uh, additional options for the tool. Um, symmetry is fine. Oh, uh, keep anchor point. We've got to turn that off, otherwise it distorts our mesh in, in sort of strange ways. Um, and then we'll hide that again. And then if you right mouse button, um, you'll get control of this uh, little menu bar, or you can adjust your strength and radius up there. And then we just go ahead and start posing this. Uh, and what we're trying to do is get the mesh on top of the skeleton. Good. Control P. 
select the root first, I guess, control P with automatic weights, go to uh, pose mode, Let's make sure it's working, which it is, cool. Um, then this part is a little bit interesting. Um, you know, I, I'm actually, um, we need to get rid of um, this SK Lioness LOD zero. And essentially uh, the reason being is that we need our skeleton to continue to match our original structure of this skeleton that we exported. And if you look, the structure is always root and then a bunch of the bones here. But for whatever reason, between our export and import into Blender, um, it's now added this piece over top. And so if we click on that, just uh, there's a couple of things that we're going to do. If we click on that, what's going to happen? Actually, you know what? I'll do it and I'll show you. Um, see, it, it loses the rotation and it like grows um, exponentially. So I'm just going to take some measurements. So on the object uh, toolbar, there's a ruler at the bottom here. And if I just drag this up to the back here, we've got about 1.4 meters. I'll put another measurement here and then I'll put one across. And that way, when we delete that and we come back, we'll have some measurements to go against to make sure that our guy fits right. And then we'll just have to remember that he's posed to the right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that. Then we're gonna make sure that we grab our mesh and our skeleton. And we're just going to zoom that way down. Um, and then uh, even more so, even more because see we've got our measurements so we know we're now getting close. Then I'm gonna rotate around the Z axis, uh, axis get them uh, set back that way. Um, and we've got them back, looks like pretty close into position. Um, they should be about 1.4 meters there, perfect. So there, we should have them back into the original position that he was in. That's pretty good. I just realized his feet are below um, the axis here, so I'm just going to fix that. Okay, good. Okay, the other uh, new part here is the texture painting. So I'm just going to click on that. Um, and then uh, what I'm going to do is just down here in the color picker, um, I'm going to click on this white stuff here. I'm going to pick the eyedropper and then I'm going to pick the color of the bear. And then I am going to um, shrink the radius of my brush. And then I'm going to paint on uh, these white spots here. And I'll leave some of those brown, uh, but just like the really obvious white spots I'm going to get rid of. If the skeleton's bothering you, you can go and adjust that and turn it off. Oops. Oh, these butts are already good. Clean up all that. His feet. I'll leave the little nails there. That looks okay. I actually don't mind the white too much underneath. We'll just make it look a little bit more natural, maybe. Um, we'll fix his ears and things here. Leave a little bit of the stylized dark parts. Okay, and then I'm just going to change the color here and eye drop the nose. And it's actually a little darker, but I like that. You can adjust the, the, um, I don't know, the shading, the darkness <laughs> of it if you want. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. I think you get the idea. Um, we won't do it perfect, but um, that's fixed up those white spots. And yesterday with our elephant, you can go in and do something similar. There's a couple other different tools like smudging and whatnot that you might want to use. Okay, so for this guy, um, once you're done texture painting, just make sure that um, you save all images 
or um, it might not export the changes that you made. Uh, then we'll go back to layout, file, export, whoops, FBX. We'll just call this bear six. Make sure copy and that is checked. X forward, Z up, uh, X, Y, and no leaf bones. Good. And um, we'll just go back to Unreal here. Version six for me. And Monster Mash, Stylized Bear, version six here. Uh, make sure you pick the uh, lion skeleton. That was the whole point of this is that the lion has a bunch of animations. And so by doing this, we're going to get those all without having to do anything. Your bear is going to come in. Look at that. No white spots. Looks pretty good. I mean, you can play around with this stylized painting a little bit more if, if you like. I'm just going to save that. And then um, if we click on our bear, you'll see in the animation section, um, he's actually got access to all of these animations. So if I change the mesh preview to the bear that we just made, uh, apply the asset um, and hit play, he's now going to um, have all of these animations attached to them, just like that. Not too bad, hey? Um, and then if we went to our level, we dragged them in there. On our asset in the details page, we can move this from animation blueprint to animation asset. We can pick um, one of these animations. He's going to die. Uh, poor bear is dead. And then if we played our game, we would see, I've got a bunch of them in here because I've been perfecting it for you guys, but um, yeah, it's in there and animating. Pretty cool. Don't die on me, bear. Um, so that's everything. As always, if you like this, uh, then please like and subscribe. Um, I've got a whole bunch more stuff coming. I've been in the lab uh, <laughs> quite a bit the last week. There is a whole bunch of stuff uh, that I've learned. And so, um, like always, I'll bring that forward to, to you guys and share um, the knowledge with you. And uh, other than that, yeah, have a great day and we'll see you around.